Welcome back, Rough Golfers, to another second chance video. Today, we're going to be talking about the Maverick 3-Wood from Callaway, and I want to tell you why it deserves a second chance if you are in the market for a 3-Wood. What's going on, everybody? This is Jake with Rough Golf. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Please consider subscribing and smacking that like button if you find value from this content. Glad to have you. Today, we're going to be discussing the Callaway Maverick 3-Wood. Just going to do a quick review of what I love about this club, what I don't love about this club, and why I think it's worth a second chance, even in 2023, to find a place at home in your golf bag. Today, we're gonna be discussing design or looks. We're gonna be talking about features, functions, of course, performance to make sure it's performing properly out there on the course and in the range, and then lastly, price, because as a rough golfer, you know budget is always on my mind. So let's talk about design. From the look standpoint, I think Callaway did a great job with the Maverick. I'm loving the orange, black, white, gray, titanium color scheme that they got going on here. I think it looks sleek. And of course, at address, the carbon fiber crown on this bad boy is so nice. I don't know if you guys can see that, but nice carbon fiber there. I love these little orange and gray stripes on the club head. I think it just does a nice little pop of color there. Of course, the big, fat, bold orange on the toe of the club, a little bit on the heel. I'm just, I'm liking the look. I know a lot of people don't care for the look of this particular club, but I think the colors are rocking. And of course, the club head cover has a nice big old orange stripe and uh, Maverick written across there in case, you know, you weren't flashy enough with your golf club head covers, then uh, Callaway is helping you out there. So uh, I've got it in the Even Flow Project X Riptide shaft. This has definitely got a unique bend profile. It's a 6.5 extra stiff with 75 gram weighting. Normally in your three woods, you're going to want to go about 10 grams heavier than your driver shaft. And uh, I normally wouldn't play a, a profile like this because it's, uh, it's pretty smooth. Uh, but with my three wood, I found that it, it really works and uh, I enjoy that. Now let's talk about features. What makes the Maverick from Callaway so special? Well, of course, on the bottom, we've got the jailbreak technology, which Callaway claimed that they used artificial intelligence to design this club to make sure it's going to be the most efficient, consistent, best ball speed, perfect three wood out there. Uh, and it's a few years old, but it, so far, I'm pretty impressed. It also has the flash face, which is supposed to help keep ball speeds high. Um, the other features of the club, I guess, would be maybe the shaft that I have in it. Um, Even Flow Riptide supposed to be more for um, like a smoother transition uh, versus an aggressive transition. And I actually have kind of an aggressive transition, but this shaft does work wonders in my three wood so far. Now we're gonna talk about performance. In the course that I play at most frequently, I don't really get to use my three wood that often, maybe two or three times around from the fairway. I don't really use it from the tee box. And off of the ground, I felt so confident with this three wood. I don't know why, but man, when I struck it, it would go. And I'm getting, you know, pretty decent rollout uh, around 260 for me, which is really good, which on average for my three wood, that's pretty good for the course that I play. I also took this to a fitting bay and actually spent some time on a track man. And that was fantastic to get some numbers for the track man on this three wood. I think my longest hit was like nearly 277 yards with a three wood, which is pretty cool considering that's kind of where my driver touches down right now. I'm working on that. But uh, performance, I'm super happy with it off of the ground. Now, when I switch to a T, because of the actual height of the uh, club head here, it, it makes it a little difficult for me to hit it off of a T. Sometimes I'm skying them, sometimes I'm towing them, I'm just not as consistent. Uh, you know, I'm, I grew up in the 90s playing those deeper faced uh, three woods that had kind of a taller crown and you had much more face to work with. So, you know, playing with these little squishy three woods is a little bit uh, difficult for me, but off of the tee, not so consistent off of the fairway, fantastic. Now, one other thing I want to mention, and I don't know if you guys will be able to see it in the camera, but this club actually has a draw bias, okay? So your head is tilted slightly closed. So when you look down at it at a dress, you're gonna see a slightly closed club head. Most three woods out there are manufactured that way. Ping does it a lot, Callaway does it a lot, and that's to help golfers, because the majority of us golfers out there, us right-handed golfers, have a slice, and that's supposed to counteract a little bit of that, uh, that slicing motion. Um, I found that it still works great for me, especially because I slice, um, but uh, some golfers may be a little put off about the fact that the club head is slightly closed at address. A lot of guys you know, are very particular about looks. So. 
on the range, I found that nine times out of 10, I was making good consistent contact. It's got a nice metallic tink when you hit the ball. It sounds pretty good. I would have expected a, a more of a dull sound because of the carbon fiber, but that flash face has a nice tink, metallic tink, and it's kind of rewarding, kind of like Pavlovian. You know Pavlov's dog, when you smack that bad boy and it makes a little tink, you're just like, ooh, good shot. And it really did make some good shots. I hit a couple draws, which I'm surprised because I don't normally hit a draw. Mostly faded this three wood, which I'm happy with. I, I kind of like that stock shot but performance across the board was great. I had a nice kind of like mid to high launch with this, which is pretty good. Of course, this isn't the Sub-Zero. This is the standard club. The Sub-Zero would have a weight in the front. This one just has the weight in the back, actually supposed to get the ball up a little bit. And when I'm approaching, you know, long par two, long par fives, for my second shot, I want a three wood that's gonna give me a higher ball flight so the ball actually stops. I'm not necessarily looking for a distance club. So I want a higher ball flight out of that, so I'm happy with that. Of course, that will depend on the shaft that you have in the club as well. So performance with this bad boy was spot on. I enjoyed hitting it, it feels good, good sound. Slight draw bias off the tee. I need to work with it for a little bit of consistency. Now, we're gonna cover price, okay. So what can you expect to pay for the Callaway Maverick 3 Wood in 2023? Well, I bought this bad boy off of eBay and I only spent, drum roll please, $105 shipping and all, tax total and all, 105 bucks. You cannot find a better deal than that on a nice Callaway Maverick 3 Wood. And I believe it debuted in 2020 or 2021, I'm not exactly sure, somewhere around there. It's only three or four years old and fantastic club. Still has a lot of life left in it. So guys, if you were in the market for a three wood, then go out there, check out this Callaway Maverick. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, then check out this playlist right here, chock full of golf gear reviews. You will love them. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, keep on swinging.